In Jesus' first miracle in the Gospel of John, he turns water into wine when the drinks run out at a wedding party. John 2.11 says, This was the beginning of the signs that Jesus did in Cana, of Galilee, and it manifested, his glory. Since John consistently used the word glory to describe the greatness of God the Father, we should ask, how does Jesus turning water into wine reveal his unique connection to God? Without a good answer, we might assume the water to wine miracle is revealing Jesus' passion for partying. Since he created three big kegs to keep the alcohol flowing, he must be a fan of excessive social drinking. But that popular guess fails to explain how miraculous winemaking means Jesus shares God's glory. So what are we missing? Did you know that John is the only gospel writer to include this story? Why? Because his first readers grew up around the city of Ephesus, walking by Greek temples, and going to festivals that honored Greek gods. One popular Greek New Year festival celebrated how the god Dionysus created wine for humanity to enjoy. Ancient texts recount how fountains of wine flowed from his temples during the festival, and fresh water springs tasted like fine wine. At one New Year festival in the city of Elis, three pots were locked inside the temple overnight. In the morning, the priests would open the doors and find all three pots filled with wine. Why did everyone get excited for wine to appear? Because wine symbolized the presence of Dionysus returning to earth. He was the god of wine, and every other good thing that grew out of the ground. Since John's audience knew that wine revealed the presence of a god who brought life to earth, they understood the message, Jesus is the real god appearing on earth, not Dionysus. The water to wine miracle wasn't endorsing wine, it was acknowledging where it came from. It didn't encourage social drinking, but universal worship of Jesus. Everyone needed to realize that savory drinks and fine foods were his generous gift to humanity. So how today, could we make similar symbolic statements that reveal God's benevolent presence on earth? One way is to create clean water in communities where none exists. Providing water in remote African villages has the same effect today that Jesus' miracle had on John's audience. People can taste God's goodness when God's people turn disease-infested ponds into a cup of clean water provided in Jesus' name. So let's start demonstrating the benevolent presence of God to people who are missing it, so they don't miss Jesus. If you liked this video and want to learn more, you can read 5-minute articles at the blog or buy a book about the meaning of the Bible in its historical context. If you want us to make another video, please donate at patreon.com.